And we now have surveillance video capturing the moment a car slammed into a house during a chase. We first brought you this live at 6 as it was unfolding on Purple Wisteria Lane in Spring. That's where we find ABC 13's Luke Jones tonight with an update. Luke? Eric, you can still see the tire tracks from that car as it made its way right into the corner of this house. Now, thankfully, we're told no one was home at the time, but I mean, imagine someone was standing right here on the porch. You can see what it did to this supporting column here and look at all of the damage it did to the wall. No telling what it would have done to a person. And you're about to see that car in action moments before the crash. Just after five o'clock, a silver car comes screeching down Purple Wisteria Lane. Then, a deafening thud as it barrels right into this home at the corner of Goodfellow. Harris County Precinct 4 Constable's deputies were already tailing the car, which they say had just been stolen. After the crash, deputies say the 17-year-old driver and his juvenile passenger get out and start running. But they're nowhere to be found here on the street. Instead, they opt for back routes. A couple of guys jumping, black guys jumping to the back of the of my backyard and around the area, jumping fences pretty much. Deputies finally catch up with them. Leslie Reinert arrives in time to see one handcuffed on the ground. And then they had another guy in a constable's car over there going, oh, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. And they were working on him. Now it's the front of this house that'll need work. Believe it or not, Neighbors say it's the second time a car has driven into it. Last year, they say a car drove through the garage. I don't know who owns this house, but he's, he's probably going to go, oh my God, again? In spring, Luke Jones, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.